Venus is the second closest planet to the sun in our solar system. And in many ways, it's like Earth. Venus's diameter is just a few hundred kilometers less than Earth. It orbits 108 million kilometers from the sun versus the Earth's 150 million, still well within the so-called habitable zone. Yet conditions on the two planets could not be more different. Earth, currently at least, provides a welcoming environment for life to flourish, whereas the atmosphere on Venus is brutal. It's 97% carbon dioxide with an unhealthy dose of sulfuric acid clouds thrown in, a surface pressure 92 times that on Earth, and a mean surface temperature of 464 Celsius. Humans there would literally be cooked, pressure cooked. Venus also rotates on its axis the opposite way to most other planets in the solar system, and it rotates so slowly that its day at 243 Earth days is longer than its year at roughly 225 Earth days. What happened to make the two planets so different? To answer this question, humans have been sending spacecraft to Venus since the 1960s. We have images from the surface, like the one you see here from Russia's Venera 9 lander, and we have even been able to build 3D maps of the surface, like this one from NASA's Magellan spacecraft. But still, our understanding of Venus is very incomplete. ESA aims to try and solve some of the mysteries of Venus and why it's so different to Earth with its Envision mission, scheduled to launch in November of 2031. Envision will take 26 months to insert itself into its final Venus orbit and will then spend four years examining the planet with six scientific instruments at resolutions of up to 10 meters, which is roughly 10 times the ground resolution of Magellan. Envision will try to answer the following questions. How geologically active is Venus today? How are Venus's thick clouds constantly replenished? How does Venus lose its heat? How did Venus lose its water? And finally, how does the surface of the planet change over time? In addition to our understandable curiosity about one of our nearest neighbor planets, with answers to these questions, we might be able to begin to unravel where the evolution of Venus and Earth started to become so different. What can we learn from Venus and the Earth about the potential habitability of planets in solar systems around other stars? Given our current knowledge of Venus, it's certainly true that simply being a rocky, Earth-sized planet in the so-called Goldilocks habitability zone around a sun-like star is not enough to ensure habitability, at least for human beings. I know it seems kind of far in the future to be talking about a mission that won't arrive at Venus until 2034, but the reality of missions like this is that they take a long-term vision to plan and build, and they require funding and support from start to finish. So I think it's good to know what's out there and what the priorities are. Envision is an ESA-led mission with NASA providing a synthetic aperture radar instrument and access to the Deep Space Network for communications. As always, I am skipping a lot of details to fit the video into three minutes, and there's a ton more great info on this cool mission over at the ESA website. That's today's video. I will catch you in the next one.